What's up, YouTubers? Back in the shop again today. Roll cage is coming along slowly. I know y'all been waiting on a video. I'm, I'm just gonna combine building the whole roll cage that goes around me into one video. So that's what's been taking a while there. I'm gonna add that into one video, make it a longer video, more complete. I'm gonna make a complete video of the roll cage part around me, and that'll be the next video that comes out specifically on the roll cage construction. But in the meantime, I'm about to have to put a bar in that will dictate the frame side J-bar location. So as I like to do, spent like three weeks researching the best J-bar on the market. I looked at the I-beam style ones, you know, the ones that are like machined billet. We gotta run a steel one unmodified, but you know, like the machined billet steel ones that are shaped like an I-beam. Those are okay, but I think they're too weak in the front to back direction. Don't like that. They're also really heavy. Then there are the ones that have like 12 bins in them, like the Weir's one. Piece of shit, wouldn't run that one. There's just, you know, a hundred different ones. Let me show you. This right here, best J-bar on the market. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Let me run this down for you. This is inch and a half. Quarter inch wall. Damn, boy, he thick, boy! It's a tube. Come at me, bro. Come at me. It's incredible. Touchdown. So it's strong in both directions. Quarter inch wall, once again. It's got this big ass one inch adjuster in here. And it's, it's, just, it's just pretty damn beefy. These things here, it's like the cheapest shit you can buy, too. It's the cheapest J bar. There it is. Hmm. You don't want it. I think I kind of want it. There's only a couple bad things about it, but those are about to be gone, and it really, really will be the best JBR you can buy. Let me show you. One bad part about it, it's got just a Heim just welded in here, and of course it's just an ultra shitty Heim. So we're gonna, we're gonna shit can that. Not gonna use this Heim. Also, this in, once again, ultra shitty left hand Heim. We're gonna fix that though, it's not gonna be a problem. Let me show you the first step on this uh, J-bar modification. Right there. Rod in supply. Nylon fiber. Messerschmitt style. Hot. Fix that. Next modification. Rod in supply. Nylon fiber. Mono ball. In a mono ball holder. I will provide the part numbers for all three of these items in the description. With those things, we're going to have a good heim on this end, good heim on this end. Strong bar in the middle. It is actually adjustable, but not like super adjustable. Like I don't need it to be able to change like 10 inches of length. This will be the best J bar on the market. Let's build it. First order of business. We gotta remove this heim. See, it's just a it's just a female heim welded up in the tube. A lot of them do that. I don't know why. Probably just because it's cheap. We're gonna cut that off. You need further proof. There's just a female heim welded in there. You can see, there's there's threads in there. Just welded a regular female heim in there. Ground that off, pull that heim out. Again, this is just a heim. I should be able to thread another heim in there. There it is. Pull it right out. Now you can see we are just left with a tube. We're gonna see what the fitment on this is like for the monoball. We're gonna need to notch that a little bit. Let's uh, check that and see if we can mark that out. Okay, upon closer, closer examination, the monoball measures two inches in diameter. I don't have a two inch hole saw for my notcher, but actually, let's just notch it for inch and three quarter, which will be like close enough. And then we can touch it up some more with the grinder. That's what we're gonna do. We'll do inch and three quarter and then just touch it up to be two inch. Okay, we need this notch to be perpendicular with the tube straight up. So we're gonna zero our angle finder on here, zero. Zeroed. Need this to read flat. I'm really close because I'm really good. All right, 
notched. Tube is notched. You can see that it's still not a perfect fit, but it is not that far off. I'm gonna grind that, edges of that, make that better. I'll show you what we got here. That is a pretty solid fitment, if you ask me. The bar is a little bit wider than our deal, but that will be okay. I'm gonna weld it all the way up around there. Have a good gap to weld that up with. It's gonna be really good. I'm gonna grind the paint off here with the die grinder, and uh, let's get ready to weld it. As always, my welder is a weenie, so we're gonna preheat this uh, tube before we weld it because it's really thick. Also, I know y'all have been saying, you should probably take that nylon uh, ball out of there. We're gonna do that with some uh, snap ring pliers before we weld it up. Don't lose that. It will fly across the shop. See here, we've got the little mono ball, and we've got a holder. I'm gonna weld a holder on the bar. Well, does not look fantastic, so, so we're gonna grind down a little bit. I'll get back with you. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit more, make it look just like smooth. Now, at this point, you may ask, are you a pretty good welder or a pretty good grinder? And I will answer, I am way better with the grinder than I am a welder. I'm going to run a bead across this again. And no one but you guys is going to know that I didn't just weld this great the first time. Holy shit, look at that craftsmanship. See, it looks really nice now. That's how you do it. And we caught the rag on fire. This is why I pay attention in the shop. Can't be catching things on fire. All right. We've got a mono ball welded on our J bar. And that there is the ultimate J bar. Let's shoot it with some black. All right, guys, there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. Best J bar on the market, guaranteed. This whole thing all together with the Himes is like 150 bucks, something like that. Yeah, cheaper than a lot of them you can buy. In my opinion, much better. Okay, now that we have the ultimate J-Bar built, I'm gonna build a little something extra that I just thought of. You ever wonder like, is my J-Bar bent? I don't know, I can't really tell. Cause there always is some kind of an organic bend. Can't really tell. We're gonna build an angle gauge to check your J-bar really fast. So like between races, you don't wanna pull it away off. We're gonna build a little angle checker. Now, next time you hit somebody in heat race, you're about to run the feature, you're like, did I, did I bend the J-bar? I don't know. I'm gonna finish bracing this up. But now you can be like, did I bend the J-bar? No, my gauge fits. J-bar isn't bent. Yeah. Yeah, that's smart thinking right there, isn't it? Genius! There we have it. Is my J-bar bent? I don't want to take it off. Nope, not bent. All right, guys. Thanks for watching me build the ultimate J-bar. Best one you can or can't, I guess, buy. I'll leave a complete parts list for what it takes to put this together in the description. Feel free to, feel free to take my notes. Tell everybody that you buy these parts from that I sent you, especially Rod In Supply. Thank you, Rod In Supply, for supporting the number 92 in 2023. Really appreciate it. You guys truly build the best times, and I'm glad to have them on my car. Thanks for watching this video. Tune in next time.